which I'm going to bring up another movie because you said that you're a big fan of computers and you grew up in computers and everything that's that's dealt with computers, whether it's programming, software, um, uh, what else, pass coding, coding, social media, you name it. I don't know about hacking, but we're going to get into that. The thing is this. Oh, now the thing is this. I want to ask you this. Is your favorite movie The Matrix? I, I would say it's definitely in the top five. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Why is definitely. it the top five? Yeah. All right. You know why? why? Because because like because like one or two years ago, I was like uh, I was like at home, and I was like, okay, I want to w- watch a movie, and The Matrix is like from I don't know nineteen ninety eight or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, I want to watch The Matrix, and you know when you when you think about the movie that's so so old and you still want to watch it, it's probably a good movie, and I watched all three of them. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so I, mean, I, I like it a lot. Well, because if you watch the first movie, that's what the movie is all about. Is that we think that the world we're in a computer, and if you look yeah. around, you don't know what's reality or what's yeah or, or what's fake, you know. But the thing is, this for you is is that do you think that because you know you are you know you've been doing with you've been dealing with computers for so long, do you think that technology like that will exist in the future? Like we might live in a holographic <clears throat> world. Because in Dubai, they showed, they showed technology of cameras, and the cameras show like an actual real three yeah. screen, visual. And I'm like, yeah. whoa, we're getting into that. But what's your opinion about that? Well, we, 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 are, we are basically already there. Because if you, if you think about it, your, your smartphone, your, your, your iPhone or some Samsung or whatever you have, it's it's basically an extension of your life. It's 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 just not it's it's just not uh, surgically inserted, but it, it it's basically your life. Everything everything you 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 have for for example your bank accounts, your your messages, your your pictures, your videos. Everything is basically in your phone. All the apps you use, for example, here in the UAE, like Deliveroo or or Uber Eats or Kareem or whatever. You know, it's basically an extension of your life already. The mm. only problem that we have is is uh, it's an interface problem because it still takes too much time to type in, you know, your thoughts uh, to, 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 to transfer them to your device. It's still, that's the biggest problem. So if you, if you solve that problem, the interface problem, uh, then you have basically cyborgs. Then you have uh, humans. If you think a thought, you can Google the thought and you will get the, the answer already in your brain. So it's, it's just an interface problem. You, you, we, are, we are already there. It's just that we are not quick enough. We, we can't connect it to the, to the thoughts. So it's, it's already here. But Mr. Cass, isn't that kind of like, it's kind of scary though? Like when you think about it, like you just said that like if I think of something, it can happen. So that, but that means that, that means that they put a plug in our head or something or a chip, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, well, I don't, I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. I mean, we, time will tell, but I mean, My, it's already here. Can you think, can you think about a life without your smartphone right now? It's not possible. When I was a kid, yes. But then. Yeah, of yeah, course. I mean, how old are you? Uh, oh, we're the same age. We're the same age. So, see, I, I remember birthday, also. My birthday was last week. Was my birthday yeah. was last oh. week. Con- congratulations and happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so, see, bro, you, you, you know, you, you, you remember the time when, when you didn't have a phone, right? Yes. So, N64, I remember too. PlayStation. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, see, but but there is a generation right now. For example, I have a I have a younger I have two younger brothers. So my, my youngest brother, he's ten years younger than me. Mm. He's he's uh, 20, 21, something like that. <laughs> so, anyways, um, and and he he doesn't know he doesn't know how it is without internet. You know, he he doesn't know how it is without a phone. He he grew up with this stuff. So we we learned it. We we, we got used to it. But but right now we we can't. For, I can't imagine a life without my smartphone because this is where, where my business is. This is where the money comes from. You know, this is how I communicate. This is how I talk to my parents in Switzerland. This is how I send them memories, send them pictures, send them videos. You know, it's, it's very hard to, to imagine a life. So, so, so the question is, which way, which way are we trying to go now? Uh, do we say, okay, we stop technology here. Okay, stop now. It's enough. <laughs> Or do we say, okay, we go back? And one thing I learned as, a, as an IT guy is uh, technology knows no excuses. It just progresses. I got In which direction? Of course, we can, we can a little bit maneuver it, but it, it will just progress and we have to adapt. Well, I do got, I do got one uh, response to that. You see, there's a thing called the Industrial Revolution, 
but there's also yeah. the thing called industrial devolution. And what I mean is, mm. I believe there was a group one time. Oh, all right. So in the U.S., there's a group called the Amish, right? Yeah. And the Amish are like, you know, Abraham Lincoln type of guy. No, if it's the Amish, you know, I don't, I don't think they're watching this show anyway because they don't use electronics. But anyways, they're kind of like, you know, um... <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop it. <laughs> so basically, so basically uh, yeah, so there's a lot of Amish people. They don't use technology and stuff like that. But I do believe technologies will be so advanced that, uh, and also like artificial intelligence, and people say cyborgs might be taking people's jobs. There's going to be a new revolution of Luddites. That's, what, that's the terminology of it. Luddites, we mean people, young people against technology. I think mm -hmm. that might happen so right in the mid-20s. That might be the new counterculture because um, there's, a, there's a new group called Minimalist. Minim, minim, minimalist. And they're, you know, they don't use much technology. They're living in nature. It's underground now. But usually when things are underground, it becomes mainstream. And um, I, think it might be, I think it might be mainstream in the 2020s and the 2030s. You, you might see it. And I think COVID-19 also made people question uh, technology even more people became more wiser people start asking questions more thinking who should I trust and whatnot you see it like 5g and you saw people knocking down the 5g towers and all that so it's just you know you're you're seeing these two faces now i agree with you 70 percent will love technology they're going to love it it's just the way it is you know you can't stop it but there's going to be a, you're going to see a, 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 a you know no 30 percent of luddites and neo-luddites say, saying i don't know there's, there's too much of this and is it really right? You're going to see it. Now, me, I'm in the middle. I'm, I'm like, look, I'm for technology and, uh, you know, and we need it because it's humanity going forward. At the same time, I'm like Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum from, from Jurassic Park or Will Smith from mm -hmm. iRobot that tells you yes. we're, we're going too fast. Yes. All right. What's your... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel kind of the same. I, I, feel, I feel what you're saying. Um, I think also we, we have to, you, you can't just be all day long on your phone. I'm, I'm, I'm totally with that. You can't be like all day long on social media and just watching snapshots of other people's lives when they're the happiest and nobody posts like when they're not happy or when they're not looking beautiful in the picture and then you get depressed because you look at your life and you think, Oh my God, look, all these people, they're all happy and my, my life is a mess. So I'm totally, I, I fully, fully agree with you that too much of it, it's, it's not healthy. We, we, at the end, we are humans. We are not robots. Totally mm. agree. But like, like I said, man, you have to find a balance. For me, if, if, if I spend too much time on an app consuming, then, then creating, then I delete it. For example, on, on Instagram, I post three times a day. I post uh, one picture, I post one co quote, and I post one video. And that's basically what I do on Instagram. I don't, I don't watch other people's feeds for too long. Uh, for example, if I just want to get some info, I do it. But there are people, man, they, they spend like, if you, if you watch the usage time of your phone, like uh, at the end of the week, if you have an iPhone and it says like, yeah, you, you've been like, 16 hours on Instagram and eight hours on Facebook. Man, that, that's a whole day, just social media of your week. What are you doing? That's not healthy. Stop it. <laughs> you know, do something else. Go do <laughs> yoga. Go, I don't know, go uh, hug a tree. Do something else, man. Don't, don't be so much on your phone. I could be, be Michael but Jackson. Then, I could be Michael Jackson and climb trees. <laughs> yeah, <man>. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> you know, the South, Park, the South Park episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, there was an I'm, 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 with, I'm with you, bro, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really with you, but I, I don't think, like, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Like, there, there, there will be people who are totally against it. I get it totally. Uh, let, let's see what the, what the future brings, man. Like, right, like right now, it, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> like right now, technology, cryptocurrencies, and all this stuff that ha that's happening right now, it's crazy, man. You know what? Uh, you know you're you're seeing it. You know, um, like yeah, you're you're seeing things. We know this is gonna be a conversation for another day. There are some other questions I want to ask, but I want to delve yeah, sure, into on. that. This is a first introduction. Uh, this is the icebreaker interview. But I think chapter two of Mr. Kaz. Then I can start asking more of those unique questions. But we're gonna go back to your business yeah. endeavors. 